was that about? I forgot about. Hey, internet! It's Jessica, and welcome back to House of Ashes. Um, I still don't know what this is, but Salim and Jason have discovered what's in the depths of this temple and the source of where these creatures are coming from. And like I said, I think it's like some alien s spaceship or something like that, because that's the only logical thing I can come up with. This can't be here naturally. That doesn't make any sense to me. Like, look at that. That's not normal. Oh. How? We gotta be careful. But also we got Jason to like kinda- even though he's being an asshole still, he's still willing to work with Salim, which is- <gasps> Is that thing moving or is it like, dead? <laughs> what the f <laughs> But he's willing to work with him, so that's great. Uh, that's all I, I cared about, because I didn't want them to be fighting. It's like a whole either ship or city. I don't know how to explain it. It's so weird. It looks like something out of Mass Effect. Like, look at this. Oh, I'm Jason still. Okay. All right. Turn the flashlight. Where where those things come from? Right. I think so. The question is, where the hell are they? Right. And what the hell is this place? Is my question. Like, what the f is this? Hang on, I'll go over there in a second. Oh god, there's more like cocoon things. Oh, this is. F oh my god. What the? Stay close. What is this? Go nowhere. Is that where they sleep? I'm so confused. Are they alive or dead? I can't tell right now. I don't know if I'm supposed to go this way or not, but like, what the f are we looking at? Do you think we are? Difficult to say. See. Oh, I didn't mean to cut him out. I'm sorry. Oh my god. I thought I could like press it and then it will go into this. Salim, over here. What do you make of it? could have been down here for thousands of years. God didn't make these creatures. No. It's possible we've got this wrong way around. What's that supposed to mean? Maybe we were tooting on them. Hmm. What the f Wait, check this out. <laughs> Sounds like music. Sound like any music from where I'm from. Okay, maybe not music. Could be uh It sounds like a train? You know like when you get pick up seashells on the beach and you, you can hear the ocean? That kind of But this sounds different. Shouldn't underestimate them. Right. That's weird. I don't know what that's supposed to be, but okay. Let's keep moving then. I just wanna know like Maybe there there has to be some clue that can say like what they are or who they are. It's everywhere. Is it just me or is it alive? I can't tell. Same. I don't know. Okay, I guess we're going down here. God, I hate everything about this. Like, what is up? What's up with this guy? You dead or alive, sir? Madam? Non-binary alien vampire thing. 
Is it dead? Sleep. Check this out. It's one of those creatures, only older, ancient. You don't think it's alive, do you? Touch it. What? You touch it. <laughs> yeah. Pussy. I don't want to touch it. No, no, no. Let's not touch it. Look <laughs> at Salim laughing back there. I'm sorry. I'm not touching it. I learned that from Salim's like uh, chapter where he was like picking up. Nah, I ain't doing that. I don't care. I don't feel like touching that. I don't want to die. Like, how big is this place? We mustn't lose sight of each other down here. No, I agree. Who's that? Is that a person? Oh? Um, I think this is glitched? I think this is a glitch. I don't think it's supposed to look like that. Is it? Check out that armor. This guy's goddamn biblical. Oh, it's um this dude from the beginning. The guy that I killed by book. Did, did you see that? The guy that I killed by accident. The He's still alive. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's impossible. In this place, everything's possible. Yeah. He Shit. Been alive all this time? Just sitting here with half a head. The fluid must have preserved his flesh. His brain. What should we do? We Is he supposed to look like that? I, I don't know. She had enough time to get used to it. I'm serious. Oh. The noise would attract the vampires. I'll do it. Yeah, I, I kind of agree. Don't shoot anything. Oh my god, that guy has been there? Because that was a, th a thousand of years ago when it happened in the beginning, right? He remained alive? How is that possible? Why though? Why would they keep him? And they killed the other dude, the other care but Batu, whatever his name was, the one that was chasing Nick, who was running like a like a crazy person. But like, why would they kill him, but then keep this guy alive? That's something that I'm confused about. Like, look at this place. I gotta say, the environment is very beautiful. Like, I'm very impressed with that. Um, just can't tell what it is. Okay. Salim said in the last video it smelled like formaldehyde in here. Oh. oh shit. Okay, we're gonna have to be careful because I think that's my cue to make sure I don't step on those things because it's probably gonna attract um, whatever those things are, right? Okay. maybe the reason why they look like bats was because maybe they mutated the actual bats that live here? That's a possibility, right? Because again, I, we don't know what we're dealing with. Um, okay. Let's go through here, I guess. Okay, hang on. I'm trying not to step on anything by accident. Cuz I think that was a that was a clue to be like be quiet anyway. So, I'm trying to be careful. Damn, how big is this place? <clears throat> uh, uh. Are we at the finally at the middle of this? Like is it are they riding it? 
Is that what that is? Like it's it's like a like a, a ride? Maybe how you fly this? If it's a ship, that's how you fly it? Cause it looks like they're just sitting here. I don't think they're just hanging out, you know? It's late. Looks like someone's been aboarding the dentist. No fangs. Hmm. You see? The bone is ruptured where they should be. As though smashed from the inside out. Hmm. What are you saying? Maybe these things weren't originally vampires. Maybe right. they got infected. Right. Oh. See, that's what I was I was trying to say. Like they might have mutated from something in the environment itself. That's interesting. Okay. So yeah, maybe they weren't like this originally and it just changed. Again. Suddenly mentioning formaldehyde, that has to be a clue of some sorts for something. What the fuck is down there? Okay, hang on. Let me go check the other side just in case you might have missed something before I like head down this creepy area. Oh shit, it won't let me! Damn it! <laughs> down here too nothing is making sense down here it's all devoid of logic quietly okay oh, fuck okay that that's my cue to not step on shit on the ground the fuck was that noise okay we can can i step through here so forgive me if i i'm gonna take this slow it's just you know i don't feel like killing either. I, I know I hate Jason, you know, you guys know that. I don't really like him, but I don't feel like killing him right now because, um, that endangers Salim. And I want him to stay alive, so, uh, hang on one second, okay? I'm just gonna take it slow because I don't want anyone to die. Okay, I can't walk through here. Can I go over here? Oh my fucking god. It's hard to see. It's really hard to see. I mean, there's no lights in here or anything, right? So... Okay. Can we go here? Hang on. Oh, fuck. Okay, okay, okay. I got this, I got this. Shit. Can we go through here? Those cracking noises are not helping because it just sounds like they're gonna about to like bust out of their cocoons and like jump us. Oh shit. Okay, okay, okay. Chill, chill, chill. Okay, okay, okay. We got it, we got it. Okay, there's more there. I think I can walk through here. Let me just double check. What is yelling? What is making that noise, yo? Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Can we go this way? No. No, not that way either. Okay, okay. Good to know, good to know. There's some up, up here coming up. Okay, let me see if I can go around. Salim, you mad, man. You can't just walk over like that. Can I go through here? Okay, we can go through here. Yo, this is intense. Yo, don't shove me, Salim. Okay, I think I can go through here. Yo, Salim, get out of the way. Oh, I made it! I made it! Oh, shit. Okay. 
Okay, um... Where are we going? Wait, can we go down here? Something, get out of the way, dude. It's over here. Bones? Check this out. They died fighting each other. Like dogs fighting over food. Hmm. Okay, so that's interesting. Alright, let's go this- okay, wait, wait, wait. I gotta watch where I'm stepping. Alright, let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. Oh my god, this is horrible. Back it up. Salim, stab that thing. turned up like the fucking cavalry. I thought you were dead. Not my time. I'm glad you're all right. Girl, you made it. Yeah, crawling through that tunnel was a highly unpleasant experience. Where's Rachel? <laughs> she okay? Good to see you again, ma'am. Take my hand. Is this place? I'm glad you're here, man. This place. There's research notes here. So, Lady Bradshaw is the only one I can think of who was obsessed enough to come down here, but maybe someone else. What is this? those things up and get the fuck out. Jason, that's not what really that? a plan. <laughs> Sergeant K, what do we got left? So we got um eight clips of 556 FMJ, three 40 mil high X rounds, a couple of nine mil pistols, four clips between them. We'll make that work. Huh. Plus two phosphor rounds. Yeah, that. And one block of composition C4. We gotta blow this place up, the the, well, the center the of it. Lamp? That's broken. Took a knock, but I can fix it. Just need a minute. Okay, good, Eric. Good, good, good. All in is not enough. Right. We've also got this. Ah, it's old, unpredictable. We work with what we got. We got no choice. I kind of agree with Jason. No choice. Our fuses are shot, but we can use the C4 to detonate them. Let's just hope they still back a punch. The vampires come from those cocoons. You saw how many there were in that vault? There could be thousands in there. Should we blow them up? Burn as many of those motherfuckers as we can and head for the surface. What do you think, Sergeant? Ooh, rah. I'm not gonna allow him to carry a pistol. We Rachel! We past that point now, man. Right. We stand together as Finally, we... Jason! That's how you get character development. He's still an asshole, still but character that development. Kid, that'd be a good time to use it. Yeah, heal yourself up. We gotta, we gotta do this. 
Looks like a bitch. I gotta stop the bleed. Looks like our explorer. Wait, let me say the bearing update. Nick took an injury. Nick used the medical kit to bind his wounds. Okay, that's good. So we're good, right? Yeah, because I found Joey's medical kit. That's good that I looked. All right, perfect. Here too. We should search this place before we move out. There. Got it. All right, perfect. Let's see what we got this time. Oh, Salim picked up something. Who am I? Oh, I'm, I'm Rachel. Okay. Let's turn on the light. See if we can find anything before we head out. Hopefully they won't come in here so we can like really explore everything. Oh, do I talk to Eric? Okay, let me talk to Eric. So awkward with him. You. It's fine. I've done it before. Well, I've done it many times since. I'm gonna be sorry. Like, I don't wanna- Like, okay, I genuinely do think Rachel still cares about him, but she can't be with him romantically because it's already past her, you know, point in her life. And I think that's okay to move on. Eric does have to learn to accept that. And he has to learn to the fact that they can't be together. And he has every right to be upset about that too. Of course, he's in love with her. So I'm not going to, you know, blame him for that. But I don't want them fighting. You know, I don't really see any point to doing that. Let's just be adults, please. Sorry. Rachel, wait. I'm sorry. There you go. You always were better at changing this thing than I was. If you need me, I'm here for you. We can be civil. It sucks, but you know, it is what it is. You can't do anything if she really doesn't want to be with you. You gotta accept that, dude. You gotta move on, too. Alright, what's this? Pullman, new equipment requests. Pickaxe, rope, plywood. Gas mass. To whom? Who? The. What was in it for him? To whoever Did finds really all about this. These tablets? Forgive me. I have sabotaged the dynamite to prevent my colleagues from sealing this temple to the world. Lady Bradshaw was right to bring me here. These creatures are the key to a limitless power. There are secrets here that could allow humanity to reach across the stars. Perhaps even achieve immortality itself. Please safeguard this ruin, and do not think badly of me for what I have done. I only serve the future. Ellis Van Houten. That's the guy who's been cataloging all the artifacts. And, okay, so it seems like they want to harvest- Over here. I found something. Okay, so I'll come over in a second. I think he, they want to harvest, um, what's it called? Because you remember we saw the guy, uh, at the beginning, his half of his body was still alive, even though it's been thousands of years since he was alive. They want to preserve that part to keep them immortal. I think that's what that is. Okay, I, I think I have to talk to Salim last. They are coming. We must end it here with blank. If there is time, my last act will be to dedicate this diary onto blank. Found in the rubble, it can serve as a warning to anyone who blank. The bones of this temple are drenched in blood. We have set foot on an uncharted shore and roused something ancient and wicked. A blasphemy that comes in indescribable shapes and forms. For eons we lived as children in this world, unaware of the horrors that slumber beneath our feet. Now we have blindly thrown open the gates to madness. I fear being taken, but I must do what I must. We must seal this place for eternity. For all mankind. Mary, I'm sorry. So that was the ending, right? When he just shot himself, I guess? We've seen this time and time again throughout a lot of media, and I guess in real life too. Yeah, uh, that people just reach, dig deep for humanity and everything like that, specifically immortality as one of them to make sure that they can advance, which I understand, but sometimes people take it too far. Okay. Hunts victims, implants parasite, parasite gestates, host death, parasite takes over. So it's a parasitic virus? The parasitic virus in The Last of Us, that's the only one I can think of because it's a real life virus. The fungus 
takes over. If, if you watch the documentary, it takes over an ant specifically. It kills the the ant, but it reanimates the body and like drives it around. So that's I guess that's also a clue from Clarice saying like, oh, I can feel it inside of me, and her freaking out. All right, what's over here? Oh, another tablet. Oh, this is the next game, isn't it? That's the next game. Hotel. Ooh, hotel. <gasps> We're gonna be in a hotel. Oh, I'm so excited to see the next one. Oh, I can't wait. I only missed one tablet. Damn, I only missed one. But um, yeah, I'm excited to see what's the next dark picture uh, game. I'll see in a second. Hang on. Music. Music. Okay. As I discover more about the musical language of these creatures- Oh! The instrument we found outside. My mind spins in wonder at how they came to be here. Did they soar through the skies in the days of the dinosaurs? Did their great empire span the globe while we were swinging from the trees? They are dead now. Their forms are somewhat like our own, but everything else about them is alien to life as we know it. The console displays what appears to be a constellation of stars. Cetus has seen as Earth. Did they come from the great beyond crossing the great gulf of the uh, space of land here? Were they trying to get home? Right. That's why I'm thinking they might have crash landed here and then, you know, they were trapped. How confident are you that they'll work? They'll work. This thing with you, me, and, uh... Eric? Forget it, Nick. I'm just saying... Don't. Keep your head clear of everything but the task ahead. It's the only way we'll live. Okay, good, 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 good. At least, like, you know... Freaking Rachel it still has a clear mind to be a leader. Wait, I didn't even talk to Jason yet. Can I talk to him? But I wouldn't give to see daylight again. <laughs> daylight and a cold one. That whole mess with you and Nick. It's out in the open, right? Mm-hmm. It's for the best. Regardless of everything else, secrets keep you sick. That is true. Secrets do keep you sick. It's not a good idea, especially if you're, you you don't want to hurt someone you care about. She clearly cares both about them, so like, don't be an ass. All right, Salim, it's time. Do I just go here? Okay. This is yeah, straight up. This looks like something out of Mass Effect. <laughs> The console. Is this like... Oh. oh! It's singing. She is infected, it... right? I thought I saved her. I don't think- I don't think I saved her. She's There's fucked. meaning here. It's a language formed from chords. Musical scales. Sonics. Mary was a pianist. She deciphered it. That's how she knew. She thought these carvings represented the stars. Do you see? It's Cetus. The whale. We're a long way from the night sky. It's a mystery. According to the journal, there was only one scale of sound in the device. But Mary was studying it alone. I think there may be another. I'm going to need your help. What can I do? This console is too big to operate single-handedly. Okay, is it a good idea for Rachel to do this? Okay, okay, okay. Do we just keep going? Like, I don't know what I'm doing.
something. And Mary believed that these creatures were once peaceful. Their language was one of music. How could they not feel emotion? Then a tragedy fell upon them. Rachel! Their great empire collapsed. Was there no way that I could save her? Silent, and they turned uh, on each other. Uh, what, happened? what happened? Hello, no one's noticing her? The madness. What turned them from architects into killers? Whatever it is, it twisted them. Now they're creatures of hate. Animals. Dead things. What is she doing? No one left to kill. So they slept. And they waited. They waited for us. <coughs> Shit! Rachel! Rachel? Rachel! Don't get near her. Rachel! No! Rachel! Nick, don't! Rachel. Rachel, look at me. She has it. It's inside her. Ugh! It's moving under the skin. Remember, we, we found that in the reports. There's like something under there. It's the parasite. and they were stranded. Wait, hang on. Bearing update. Bearing update. One of the creatures cornered Rachel in the catacombs and infected her. As the infection took a hold, Rachel had a vision of the creature's past. Don't. I'm sorry. No! What if I don't do it? No. Wait, do I have to do it? Hang on. Decide your fate. Because if she blows up... But they don't have inflicting damage, do they? But she will still be infected and she'll transform. See, this is what I'm confused about. Does it work now because the, the, the infection is not fully complete? I don't know what to do. Because she might end up like Clarice, too. But the stake to the heart seems to be the only way to kill them, or fire, which is why she has that. Okay, this is why I'm struggling, because now that I'm thinking about it, could we just kill her later? This is fucked up. Could we kill her later? Because we kind of need that explosive for the actual horde of vampires. I feel like I shouldn't yet. I don't know. This is so bad. I feel like I could have saved her if I let Salim shoot. But Salim would get attacked, wouldn't he? They came from the stars. This isn't their home. It's an ark. Do something! She's turning into one of them! Please, Rachel, you have to hold on! Oh, this is it's fucked up. Killing me! I'll put her out of her misery. Hold her the fuck down. We can still save her. We can. There's gotta be a way. We can't lose her. There's no other way. Hold her down. Kill me. I'm turning. Don't do it. Oh my god. You know what? Would it work? I guess because it wouldn't work because it's inside of her body. I just thought like, what if Eric pulled out the, the UV light and then burn it alive? But it's inside. I don't know what to do. I don't know. I don't think we can save her. There's no way. It, unless she fully transforms, then that's the time we can- It's too late. She's infected. There's like no way to cure this. They already had that with Mary too, remember? And all the people who were the- Who were uh, exploring this place, they already died. And, and uh, freaking Randolph already said in his notes, there was no way to help them. Shit. 
Help me. I'm trying. Fuck, Rachel. I have to put you down. Oh, God! What are you waiting for? Oh, shit! Fuck! I killed her! Damn it! Sorry, Nick and Eric. <laughs> Had to be done. Stand up, Sergeant K. Those things aren't dumb. They'll have heard the gunshot. We need to move the fuck out. Damn it. I think I think that's my fault Me because too, I didn't Colonel. let so I didn't realize that there were two. Go. In the last video, I could have saved her. You'll always love you. another person in the playthrough yeah we have to do it like this that's the only way at least she didn't suffer through the transformation like Clarice did I kind of left her ass behind but like that's what I'm saying at least she do doesn't suffer for all of this but damn I was that close to making sure everybody made it out alive huh so now what do we do how are we supposed to get rid of all of this? Also, if I kept Rachel around, she probably would have attacked us. And we would have never been able to, like, get rid of these, uh, cocoons. So we would have been fucked either way. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Those mounds are made of cocoons. Thousands of them. If we set the charges there, it will burn. How am I supposed to do this though? Also, how do you guarantee that all of them will burn? Shit, they're hatching. We gotta move. Quick. Okay, listen up. We've been hit hard tonight. We lost brothers. And we lost Rachel. But now, it's time to get some payback. We plant charges on as many of those clusters as possible and then detonate them remotely. The second those charges go off, we haul ass to the exit. If luck is on our side, we'll do more than fry a few vampires and create a diversion. Selene, you ready? I am. Okay then, let's get loose, kids. Okay. Who's going to place the dynamite? All right, fuck it. I'll do it. Nick is Crazy. good at running. We'll do it together. Nah, and also, he's pretty strong. There, the more chances we'll get seen. Takes a detonator. If I don't make it, Nick, hear me out. If I don't make it, I want you to blow those charges. Just don't go getting trigger happy on me. Every step of the way, you keep in radio contact. And if there's no radio signal, then I'll pop a flare. You see it go up. You hit that detonator. Wait, I remember wait, seeing something like that. You hear me, buddy? Hang on, wait, wait, wait. I remember seeing something like that. Okay, so Salim is gonna do that. I do remember- Oh! Hang on, sorry, I wasn't done looking, but I do remember Salim gonna do that. Where's the one that I'm looking for? Yeah, this. Nick might- Shit, Nick might die. Oh my god. And Salim, there's a flare down there. So wait, I gotta see the signal. Shit, I don't know what this means. Brothers. So Salim might be sacrificing himself in order to save Jason or something like that. Oh my God, okay. Hell yeah, thanks Colonel. What did I do? 
Eric Burn won the UV. Eric won the UV one to Nick when he was entered the cocoon vault. Okay. I guess I'm just gonna have to take wild guesses of what's gonna happen because I can't tell. All right, Nick. I just have to make sure he gets there quietly. That's the main thing. <sighs> Fuck. I can't make it out. Okay, hang on. There. There's one ahead of him. There's left. Nick, the cocoons are hatching ahead of you. You gotta move fast. Where is he? Oh shit. First dynamite is down. Over. Oh my god, I have to spot him? I didn't know they're spotting him. I thought we were just looking. <laughs> Left or right. right. Yep, okay. Holy fuck, that scared me! Holy fuck! It's a track star! He's come back for revenge! <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Hurry up, Nick! Nick, please hurry up. Please hurry up. Please hurry up. I saw one thing hatching. I didn't see the rest because I was confused of where I was supposed to look. Holy shit. It's getting kind of hairy down there, brother. Why don't you ditch the rest of those charges and head back? Look at that, man. Nick, stop getting distracted. Two, four. Go! Go back. Advance or retreat? Because if he goes, he's gonna. We saw the premonition. He's gonna get grabbed and his neck's gonna get snapped. Probably from the track star. Batu, I think that was his name. He's probably gonna choke him out. But if we go back, there's there's a bunch of them already behind him. So how would he get out of that? Fuck it. Oh my god. I'm gonna regret I'm this. Forward. I think we have to go uh, uh, forward. That's the only way. Cause I think we're fucked regardless which way I go, right? Better try to stop all of them, I guess. This is way too easy. Right. Oh, fuck, fuck. Oh no. Oh no. What is it? There are too many. He's a dead man. Sweet baby Jesus. Wait! What will warning him do now? There is no way out. Hey, how's it looking up there? Nick, it's bad. Nick, it's bad. <sighs> Tell him. They're all over you, man. Hundreds of them. At least you've got the boss to tell me the truth. I'm sorry, Nikki. For this. For what happened at that checkpoint. It's a war, Jason. Bad shit happens. Can't help. How come none of the textures are loading in? What is happening? Oh, fuck me.
Is Nick gonna sacrifice himself? Guys, I don't know why the game is not loading the textures and I'm sorry. What's Batu? UV light! Against Jason again. Where the fuck is Selene? He's trapped! No one noticed! The charges were a godsend. Feels like this whole damn place is coming down. Why are we still waiting? Can we just get Selene and get out? He's still alive. Selene, come in, man. Are you there? man behind you're wrong Salim is one of us now Marines don't leave their own behind you hear me Salim no don't he's the only one I wanted alive oh Jason's going down there oh 
All right, come on. We're brothers in arms, right? That's what they said. Ah! Fuck, here we go. Join the fun. <laughs> Yo, we need to leave though. This is not good. This is not good. Here we go. Oh shit! Jason! Celine, throw it! That's the that's the vision we got! Salim's badass! She's a badass! She seriously just throw that thing. Look, it was either that or nothing! <laughs> Let's get out of here. Go, 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 go! They took a fucking elevator here. Is that gonna hold? That thing's ancient. Through them like it was the last down of the goddamn Super Bowl. <laughs> okay, well, let's not laugh yet. We're not out yet. Just, just, you know. Listen up. We're not out of the woods yet. Right. What I see in front of me, you're the best. Fuck that. Best of the best. Oh man, we I really wish Rachel was here. Home. I feel so bad that I couldn't save her. Ooh, -ha. Ooh -ha. Should have took her with Rachel, so Rachel could have killed her. Oh, I'm, I just fucked everybody. Crazy. I just fucked everybody. I just fucked everybody. Yo, where's the UV light? Use the UV light. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Here, kick her! Sorry, Clarice, but kick her! Is he bit? Did you get bit? She was dead the moment they lay hands on her. Never should have brought her here. Okay, can we please leave? Yo, we gotta go. We'll check out if, if Eric is bit later on. Just go. Oh, 
supposed to get out of here? Because they fell in. We can get out. We just have to climb. Did they make it? <laughs> be fucked up the next shot they didn't. They <laughs> just fell in. <laughs> That'd be so messed up. Oh, man. I almost had it. Honestly, I almost had it. Just Rachel. That was it. And we, I would have been perfect for this playthrough. Almost had it. Stay with me, buddy. <sighs> I'm really glad Jason didn't betray anybody. That was what I was worried about. They're fucking ready to go home, Marines here. Drop check to Coyote 2. Radio check. Over. It's Rhino 1 5. Solid copy. We're five minutes from your position. Where the hell have you guys been? Over. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Uh, let me see. Murray repaired the radio. Great. Yeah, okay, because I kept Murray around so they know we're, up again. we were here. We beat the enemy. Look. Look around you. It's so quiet. <gasps> you think those shepherds are still around here? I could use a cold one. Man, look at this place. We made a mess of it. Oh, the eclipse. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Are you fucking serious? Get the noise. Are you serious? I thought we made it out. What? Seal the exits. We hold them here. How long do eclipse last? I kind of forgot. How long do they last? This is an actual nightmare. I thought we were done. What's the sun back? Six minutes back. We just need to hold out. Six? This is way too long. No. I can't watch the damn moon. The moon needs to hurry the fuck up and get out of the way. Time. Oh, this is fucked up. I thought. <gasps> Jason! Not again. Give him back. <sighs> Somehow? Oh, shit. 
even hit this thing knowing you. Okay, I got- Oh fuck! Okay, I'm playing as Eric. Come on, Eric! Shit! Damn! Okay, Nick? It's going by so quickly. Burn it! Salim? He could die here! It's the tablet! Jason's turn. Fucking god. did not see that twist at the end with the eclipse. I should have saw it coming because the same thing happened in the in the beginning with the flashback. Clear. close to making sure nobody died in this playthrough. So close! <laughs> I'm glad I saved Salim though, because he's my favorite, so I'm really glad that we saved him. Uh, also really glad Jason didn't portray anyone. Had character growth. Eric also didn't betray Nick. And uh, Nick lived through that blast, which I still don't know how he survived that, but he's a tough guy. Able to survive that explosion. Yup, just one. Shit, I was so close. So close. Freely they stood who stood and fell who fell. Not that. 
you guided some of your charges to the light, while others have fallen to the dark. <laughs> he always has to call me out. Survival comes at a great cost. A cost that others sometimes must pay. Uh, yeah, I was wondering if, if Rachel didn't get infected, we wouldn't know that they were alien encounter. spaceship that crashed yes. here, right? I think. I'll choose a story that's a little more homely next we time. We saw a preview of it. Where you'd be guaranteed of a decent night's sleep. It's called the hotel, right? Rest assured. Wherever it is, you'll find it extremely hard to Welcome leave. to the Hotel California. <laughs> Until the next time. Bye, Mr. Curator. You know the way out. Bye. Have a nice day. Okay. So, I'm really glad that Supermassive made sure the, the, the creature in this game is actually real. Because the last two games, they've all been, like, in your head kind of thing. Which I didn't mind. I actually really like that concept. It's just, like, if it's continuously to do every game being like, oh, it's in your head. It, it kind of, like, loses its meaning, though. You know what I mean? So, it's nice that it was this. It's cool that it was aliens. I didn't think they would go that route. Um, I actually really like that. All right. That's the end. Do we get anything else after the credits? You're late and you look like shit. Brooks? I just got off the red eye. What's your excuse? Good flight? Oh, shit movie, shit meal, no leg room. They cram me in the back? By the toilets. Nice. Coffee wasn't so bad, though. Good fucking muffins. Did you read the brief? On the flight. How's it going with the analysis team? The ISG team took heavy losses, but it wasn't a complete disaster. We just had to scrape some of them off the floor. Poor bastards. And the entities? Like nothing we've seen before. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, is that the parasite? Cool, oh. Jeff Jason, First Lieutenant, Marine Force Recon. The best of the best, huh? Or so they advertised. Fuck! Now how many times do I have to keep telling you the same damn story? I understand. However, SETCOM needs to iron out any irregularities. Such as? The whole fucking thing was irregular. Such as why you allied with an enemy combatant? Are you, you fucking, fucking serious? There? Those things were ripping us to shreds. I don't give a damn who it was. We needed all the help we could get. I stepped back into that hell to save Selene. And that man was worth five of you people. Semper fucking five. And Rachel King? She was infected, you, really you bitch. I want all the details. I'll tell you what. Why don't you go down there yourself and have a look-see? Then we can talk. If you make it out alive. That's fucked up. Oh my god. Because they, they probably would pin it like, oh, you betrayed the army, siding with the enemy, and killing one of your own. I believe it. Must have made a hell of an impression for Kolchak to go back for him. I'm dying to meet this guy. I am not answering any more questions until I see my son. That's not how we do things around oh, here. Oh, poor Salim. You don't have a clue. Jason came back for me. What does that tell you? Down there, this damn war of yours was over. I'd like to talk more about the entities. The vampires. I'm finding it very hard to believe that you killed those things with that. Untie me, and I'll show you how I did it. Are they seriously just questioning them? Like, you can see them out there. What is wrong with these people? Specimens from the site. What the There's fuck? Down there. They used dynamite? We don't know how they got their hands on it. No, 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 I'm done. I told you already. It was a city, a goddamn city full of those things. There were cocoons down there. Fucking thousands of them. How many organisms were still alive down there? Too many. Oh, for all his sake. They're all fucking burdened. This is fucked up. This is like Winterfold all over again. Uh-huh. Ah, and here we have Colonel Eric King, our in-house genius. He definitely got more than he bargained for. Everything you know about biology just went up in smoke. These things, they're advanced. They're stronger than us, more intelligent than us. If you want to get ahead of this, you need to start taking me seriously. None of us doubt the severity of the situation, Colonel. After all, most of your team didn't make it back alive. And I'll have to live with that. 
Let's move on to Kayla. She was infected. Rachel. Our comrades had no choice but to... A parasite? Extracted. You read her profile. Yeah. She could have gone far. If this hadn't happened. Okay, so they see the something? parasite then. Janet's making hot pot. You bet your ass we're on. I'll never get used to this job. Why would you want to? At least this one was localized. Well, small blessings. So, what do you make of it all? Doesn't matter what I think. Only thing that matters is controlling the flow of information. Which they're not going to put out to the public. As far as the world knows, not a damn thing happened here. Right. Because that's usually what the government does, right? Especially with aliens. <laughs> so I'm going to give my impression of what I thought about the game. I actually really like this one. I do think it's a little bit uncomfortable because the setting of it is supposed to be during the Iraqi war and, you know, the beginning of it. And some of the dialogue is just uncomfortable because I get what they're trying to show. I really do understand what they were trying to show because it's also hinted in the beginning with that flashback of the two guys where they're both enemies and they're like, let's work together to fight the thing. So I'm glad that uh, we were able to convince Jason to stop being an asshole. Um, but I, like I said, I appreciate that the monster is actually real. Like the Windigos in Until Dawn. I like that this one's actually real. It's a real thing, not in their head. I'm, I, I appreciate that. Um, uh, I, I'm impressed that I only killed one character instead of like a lot of them because I tend to do that by accident, but only one. Very proud of myself. And uh, we also got a preview with the next one and it's supposed to be in a hotel. So overall, I really enjoyed this. Uh, characters, yeah, you know, some of them are more likable than others. Salim's still my favorite, so. But yeah, let me know in the comments what you think. I want to know what people actually like about this game and dislike about this game. Did you prefer this one over Little Hope? Little Hope is still my favorite one out of the all, three of them so far. That's my favorite one. All right, let's get a preview of the next You want to know what game. it means to be a killer? Think of the most profound thing you've ever done. The most beautiful thing you've ever created. And I promise you, it's nothing compared to watching the life bleed out of someone. Are we dealing with serial killers or something? To see the fear in their eyes. To feel them pawing at you for release. To hear them pleading, begging. That's true art. That's what you have to be, an artist. I've left my mark on the world. Have you? What's that? Dark picture, season one finale. Oh, the season one finale, The Devil in Me. Oh, I'm excited about this one. This one looks really cool. I like it, I like it. All right, guys, that's going to be my playthrough of House of Ashes. I really do hope you enjoyed it and all of its sincerity of like, I was, I know, I tried my best to say Rachel because I really did. <laughs> but, you know, I'm excited for the next one. So the Devil in Me is going to be season one. I guess they're going by season. I didn't know that. But uh, it's going to be out next year. I'm just going to assume it's going to be next October again, uh, fitting for that. But I'm interested in it because it seems like it's like a serial killer or like a murder kind of thing or you know, kind of Outlast vibes. And I really liked Outlast. That's one of my favorite horror games. So I'm interested to see what's going to happen next. Regardless of that, if you guys uh, enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Let me know in the comments what you think. And if you did play this game, let me know who you saved and what you thought about the ending. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell button so you know when I upload the next Dark Pictures Anthology game. And if you want to catch up on the other uh, series that I have played, Little Hope, Might Be Dawn, Until Dawn, all of it's in the description so you can go ahead and watch it. Once again, thank you to Bandai Namco for providing me with a game so I could play this for you guys. And thank you for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!